Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at the Harley Benton ST62 in vintage white. So, I have been away in Cornwall for a week. Whilst I have been there, I've been reunited with my beloved hat that I thought I'd lost a year ago. Um, and I've also been putting the Harley Benton ST62 in vintage white through its paces. Now then, this is an extremely affordable Stratocaster-like guitar from Toman's Harley Benton range. When I say extremely affordable, this is about £100. Now, it is obviously heavily inspired by a Stratocaster. It has three Roswell pickups. It has a five-way selector, so bridge, bridge and middle, middle, middle and neck, neck. It has a master volume. It has a tone control for the neck and a tone control for the middle. And just like a normal Strat, it doesn't have a tone control for the bridge. It has 22 frets on a maple, neck, uh, maple uh, fretboard. It has vintage split tuners, which I'll come to in a minute. Uh, tremolo, all the usual goings. Neck is pretty well set in there. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, there's no. The controls, the tone controls and volume controls all feel good. Five way switch is a bit flimsy, got a bit of wobble to it. Tuners are good, they stay in tune pretty well. I've been playing this for a week, uh, in fact, more than that now, and they've stayed in tune fairly well as long as I don't abuse the old, uh, the old tremolo bar, whammy bar. The only thing I don't like about the tuners is that the split peg and I never really like the split peg but that's a, that's a minor thing they're pretty stable. Um, frets need a polish no two ways about that so when I change my strings I'll polish the frets. Massive gaps anywhere really so yeah I mean it's built really solidly I'm really very impressed with how well it's built. Okay so the important question is how does it sound so I'm going through a Fender style amp on the bridge, tone and volume at full. Bridge and middle. Neck on its lonesome. So all of the sounds you'd expect from from a Stratocaster, um, including the horrendously shrill bridge. that really only country lovers can, can get on with. But, you know, roll the volume off and that, you can kind of tame it a bit. So we're gonna go through some lead tones. So I'm gonna start off with kind of a uh, distorted tone going through the blues driver. In fact, a special blues driver. It is the Missile Mod blues driver from Hello Sailor. Um, fat switch on, everything's on around about 12 o'clock. And this is the bridge pickup. Bridge and middle.
neck and middle. <laughs> Again, neck by itself. Now, if we roll off the volume a bit, in fact, if we put it to about three, some real kind of difference in the tonalities there. Loads and loads of sounds there. And then just for some fun, using my uh, little fuzz pedal here from JSA Effects, which I'll be reviewing soon as well, uh, this is a fuzz type sound. That's your, that's your bridge. Ah, bridge in the middle. Neck and middle. Just for fun, because I love that pedal. So if we just look at the tone controls quickly, so if I go onto the neck, that's on 10, 5, all the way on. Uh, still staying with the neck control, but this is neck and middle. And then middle, which is this bottom control here. And then the bridge and middle uh, together. It sounds a little bit like an open wah. Which is quite cool. Remembering that there's no tone control on the bridge. So what else can I show you? Well, tuning stability is pretty good. Obviously, any guitar with a whammy bar there are going to be certain issues until you start playing around with some stuff. So, here we go. Still in tune. Still pretty much in tune. little bit off. Um, but that's mostly because of two or three things. First one is going to be the string trees because they're the standard kind of what they call butterfly string trees. And the problem with those is they catch. The nut, um, that will catch as well, uh, so I'll be lubricating that when I change the strings. And it gets caught down here, which is not a lot I can do about, sorry, get caught down here. Not much I can do about that. And to be honest, I don't really use the whammy bar anyway. But it's worth knowing where those points are. So what are my final thoughts? My final thoughts are, this is a fabulous guitar. For the money, you'd be hard pressed to get anything better. For a little extra money, you can make this into a really good guitar, I reckon. That good, in fact, that I'm actually going to buy this one and do all the mods I've just mentioned. I'm going to change the string trees, replace the switch, change the capacitor, rewire it to work on the bridge and sand off the neck a bit. And obviously I'll show you a video of what it all then sounds like. Because I reckon this is a great starting point and with 30 or 40 pounds this can become better than any Squire that I've played. It's easily as nice to play as a classic vibe. Um, but 
you know, a third of the cost, in fact, more than a quarter of the cost now. Everything about it screams affordable quality. Now, that sounds really daft, but again, can't emphasize enough, £100, no fret edges, tuning stability is there, all of the strat sounds there. The Roswell pickups aren't terrible. With very little work, this becomes an incredibly good guitar. Even without the work, this is an incredibly good beginner's guitar or backup gig guitar. With a bit of work, this will this could become a main guitar for a lot of people. So tune in next time for all the mods. I'm going to play you out uh, with a mix. Blues driver, the um, Hello Sailor Blues driver is the rhythm sound. Right ear is bridge, left ear is bridge and middle. The lead tones will be given to you via the fuzz pedal on the neck pedal, uh, on the neck pickup. And in the middle of the mix, you'll also hear a clean guitar playing off the middle. So until then, please listen, please subscribe, please comment, tell me what you think of the uh, uh, of the guitar yourself. If you've got one, tell me what you've done with it. Uh, there are links below to buy stuff. Some are affiliates, some are not. Um, yeah, subscribe, comment, like. Hit me up on Instagram on Dave Rage for sort of little previews of stuff. Hit me up on Twitter to find out about gamification mostly, the whole other world. And until next time, cheers guys.